So went to the field to hunt venison, help for venison, and to bring it. And Rebekah spake unto Jacob her son, saying, Well, she knew this already. She was told about the elders should serve the younger. Okay? So don't act like it's some new shit. Like we we that no. Go back to Genesis 25. Okay. And Rebecca spake unto Jacob her son, saying, Behold, I heard your I heard thy father, thy father speak unto Esau, thy brother, saying, Bring me venison, and make me a savory meat that I may eat and bless thee before thy before before the Lord Yahweh shall before I, my death. Now therefore, my son, obey my voice according to that which I command thee. Go now to the flock and fetch me from thence two good kids of goat. And I will make them savory meats for thy father such as he loveth. So <laughs> she said, oh, you better go get some meat right now. I'm going to give you two things of goat, right? Two good kids of goat. Yeah, bring them goats here. Come on. I know what this is about here. This is about the blessing. Because he says the elders should serve the younger. There was always, she was already, the, it was, remember, she was already prophesied to by a prophet. I can't forget what she was shot. So now she got to help this situation out here. All right? So this is why they so this is why for generations, generations, and generations since back when Ashashua was a little 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 um um was supposed to get the blessing, right? But not supposed to get the blessing. Because the blessing was already told who it was gonna be going to. Okay. So Rebecca, your mama, she was a good good Jacob, Jacob um Yashala woman back then. You know. Esau, I mean, Jacob women nowadays, they, they like blonde hair, blue eyes. They, they kill their own kind and get with them, get with our Joshua. So it's crazy. Huh? Yeah. There's no way of going around this. Alright? It's accurate. The accuracy with the scriptures. Okay? Go now, uh, Genesis chapter 29, verse 7. 27 verse 9 Go now to the flock Fetch me from thence Two good kings Of goats And I will make them savory meat For thy father Such as he loveth And thou shalt bring it to thy father That he may eat And That he may bless thee Before his death she was supposed to worry about her husband going to death, but he, she knew that blessing was supposed to be upon Yaakov, Jacob, not our Joshua. She knew. She knew. Okay. All right, so what are you doing? And Jacob said to Rebecca, his mother. Oh, he saw it. my brother is a heavy man, and I am a smooth man. My father, pure venture, will fill me, and yo, <laughs> and I shall seem to be to him to be deceiver, a be as a deceiver, and. And I shall bring a curse upon my, me and not a blessing. His mama fixed that. And his mother said unto him, Well, upon me, and his mother said unto him, Upon me be thy curse. And my son, I mean, my son only obey my voice and go fetch me them. And he went and fetched them and brought them to his mother. And his mother made a savory meat such as his father loves. loves. And Rebecca took goodly raiment of his elder, 
of her elder son, which were with her in the house, and put them upon Jacob, her young, younger son. See? So you'll put this on. Don't worry about that. Fuck this. We know what it's about. We know it's about the kingdom. Esau ain't going to break me through his loins. You crazy? <laughs> You know how these Jake women speak now. <laughs> Wait a minute, hold up. The, the, the hood chick came up. Salah here. Man, she knew, the, she knew the blessing, man. She knew what was what. Your perpetualness, your perpetualness got you nowhere. E. <coughs> Salah here. Um. And she put the skin of the kid of the goat upon his hand and upon his smooth, his soft, the smooth of his neck, right? And she gave him the savory meat and bread and the bread which he, which she had prepared into prepared into him into the hands of her son Jacob and he came up to his father and said my father and he said here am I who are thy my son and Jacob said unto his father I am Esau thy first boy <laughs> yo oh don't believe the book man get the fuck out of here we believe in this book. Oh, I don't believe the Bible. The Bible. You people, shut up, okay? Whatever mercy Yahweh Shem El Shai want to give, he give. Whatever, well, um, whatever judgment he give you, give you, man. We gotta get a body here, bro. We gonna be perfect, man. All right. So, um. Your perpetuousness got you nowhere. Okay? Now that's the name of this video. Okay? So, um, yeah, that was the point, right? We can read all of this, but it's a lot. So I'm going to jump back down to the, um, where I started at, right? It was the same chapter. We can read, we read the rest. I just the point was um that that his mama Rebecca had to help deceive her own husband Isaac so she could make sure the right one get the blessing. She knew already, man. She said, "Wait a minute, this was told when they was babies." She probably watched him grow up. This one looking all weird and shit. The uh, um um Jacob. The, the prime, she's showing the future, whatever. How it went down, it was it went down. So she had to stick to the the, the protocol of righteousness. Even though that was both they both was her son, she didn't like the blonde hair, blue eyes. Oh, you know, it could have been crazy. You know how it went down could have been crazy, man. Now this is accurate, man. Okay, violence again. That violent, that violent man spirit of Esau is on all the Edomites, man. On some level up stuff, bro. You forget about it. All right? Can't hide it, bro. Can't deny it. Can't hide it. Shut your mouth. Don't don't get all fidgety and upset about it. You no, know, if it was if it was opposite, y'all be rooting for this shit. Oh shit! Oh, he's so gonna root the earth. But we at the end of an age. We at the end of an age of our Shashua. No more wickedness. The wickedness will be put out. It will be quenched. The truth will grow forever. 
we gonna be perfect. <coughs> Don't worry, y'all about Shemel Shah for that. The book of Sophia Tale, nigga. No, you a fairy tale. You live in a delusion. We dealing with reality. See, when it's all, when um everything that we thought was not, and it is, it's gonna be perfect, man. We're gonna be walking on air. They wanna walk on air. They want. They got the hoverboards. They got the backpacks floating in there. They got the electric cars and all. They got. They got all the stuff that they they wanna have. Why we can't have? Why we can't have perfection? I understand, man. If we were just bumped out. Alright, let's go back. Where was that? Alright, hold on. Let's go back there. Ezekiel 35, verse 5. Because thou has had a perpetual hatred and has shed the blood of the of the of the children of Yashaala by the force of the sword. In the time of their calamity, in the time of their iniquities, had a name. He was all on top of us, so running us, running down on us, man. We we barely made it out of your hands, man. You know, the why y'all must smell shine for this opportunity, bro. You know, gotta say that, bro. Gotta say that, man. The why y'all must smell shine for this opportunity for for um giving us this this truth, man. So I don't know. We went over that this all going hatred you have for us, it's at an end. It's over, man. It really is really it's over, man. Baby dog. Baby dog. It's happening, baby. It's really happening. We're gonna have everything back. Everything that we thought we had, we thought was good on this side, it's gonna be perfect for us on the other side of this mess you know so it is bro like man I was looking at this like confidence in Yabba Shemel Shah man that all these little minor miracles you know to Yahweh Yabba Shemel Shah they great to me but I'm looking at them like wow man I can't believe this happened like that I'm looking at this like you really called me man to why Yabba Shemel Shah now I gotta I gotta work out my salvation with fame and trouble, bro. Looking at our Shashua, they up here looking real scraggedy, raggedy, bro. This whole setup is done. That's why they're complaining that oh we don't have nothing. We're about to be extinct. Look at all these foreigners here. <laughs> oh boy. Oh man. Alright, hold on. Oh, did I get this verse here already? Oh, yeah, I did. Hold on. Alright, All right, I want to see something. Let's see what's with this verse here. Let's see. Let's hear it in the, let's hear it in the, um, um, the NLT. It says, Ezekiel chapter 35, verse 5. Your eternal hatred. For the people of Yashaala led led you to um how you say this word? It's a lot here. Butcher. Butcher. Yeah, butcher. I couldn't say the word sloppy. Butcher them. Your internal hatred for the people of Yashaala led you to butcher them when they were helpless when I had already punished them for all their sins man you butchered us you heard what the Lord said you, he's telling you did this alright I'm gonna get you man you still doing dumb shit we know it I'm gonna end it with this Verse 6, therefore, as I live, say the Lord, Yahweh, Yahweh, Shah, I will prepare the blood, I will prepare unto the, unto Salaki. Therefore, as I live, say the Lord, Yahweh, Yahweh, Shah, I will prepare thee unto blood, and blood shall pursue thee. 
Say the Lord uh, Yahweh Shah. Say say if thou has not hated blood, even blood shall pursue thee. Wow, we about to be dealt with, man. Let's read on up. Thus will I make Mount Seir most desolate and cut off from all it that passes out and him that returneth. He, he told you his name to him. I don't see it. That's your house, right? I know Yahweh's now. Wow. And I will fill the mountain with his slain men in, the, in thy hills and in thy valleys and in all the rivers so they fall that are slain with the sword. Well, got you. And I will make the perpetual, des perpetual desolate, desolation, and thy cities shall not re not return. And ye shall know that I am Yahweh Al Shah. You got your number. Oh man, so lucky, man. I know I stumbled on my words, but. You got the logistics of that, uh, Shashua. You got you, man. It's over. Wow. I like to give all praise and honor and glory to Yahweh Bashim El Shah Bashim Kakudash. The Wadi Yahweh Bashim El Shah for giving us apostles and the elders of Grace No Stone who judge up on honors rightfully so. Shalom to the Akiyah. Shalom.